Good evening, YouTube. <laughs> this is another beer review by Brew by Me. Tonight I'm doing the final uh, beer by the uh, Creamore Springs Brewery, the Yearbach. It's 6% ABV, strong beer, dark beer. Uh, the style is a Bach, obviously. Uh, Creamore Springs Brewery Limited since 1987. Bach beers gained notoriety in Munich back in 1612. All the Bavarian nobles were drinking fashionable northern ales known as Einbecker beer. So Duke Maximilian I of Munich hired his own northern brewmaster who created a lager similar in character and won't back it won back the local market inspired by the intrep Entrepreneurial spirit, we started brewing our own Yerbach rich, ruby hued beer with subtle dark roasted flavors. It's an aristocratic beer, but you don't need to be a Duke to enjoy it. A hundred years behind the times. <coughs> I'm using my St. Ambrose glass. Let's give her a pour, see what we get. <coughs> All right. Definitely ruby red in color. Definitely two fingers ahead. You can see the head right there for yourself. Nice carbonation, my St. Ambrose glass. <coughs> the head is uh, beige in color, very small bubbles. Yeah. Smells quite tasty. Alright, so. Off the smell and getting sweetness, maltiness, toastiness, roastiness. Um, there is a slight chocolate. A slight coffee and maybe some molasses in there. Mm. It's a very, very nice looking beer. Very, very nice looking beer. Anyways, let's give it a taste, see what we get. Wow. Uh, in the National Hockey League, you never see the great officials called uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. Now, if, if you embarrass them, they come right back at you and get in your face, and they embarrass you. Uh, but they don't call a penalty. And Nick Stahl is mad because of the head. Nobody else in the ring sees him argue what that referee that made the call. And I don't like it. I just don't think, you know, a good player that, you got to have common sense. You know Stahl is struggling. You know he's frustrated a little bit. So Alright. So for the taste. On the front of the tongue, sweetness. Middle of the tongue. The carbonation. Back of the tongue. You get the uh, bitterness. Now. Great referees, they have a feel for what's going on in the game. And they settle people down. Bigger picture for Carolina. Things are going well tonight. Things are not going well this season. And besides, you got to have some players as Skinner and as Sutter. There's not a lot of big hope going So, there give there it a taste. I'm getting nice sweetness, maltiness, toastiness, roastiness. Slight bit of caramel, slight bit of chocolate. I'm not saying the Carolina Hurricanes are trading And a little, 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 very, very minimal molasses. But I am saying. That they would ser they may have to seriously contemplate this at some point in the very near future because they have to ask themselves, is this model gonna work? Or is on the second year of a six year deal based in six point three 
There's a bit of spiciness to it. But the majority of the beer is the floralness, so you're getting a bouquet of flowers. And after the bouquet of flowers, you're getting that spiciness. Um, now it's not a very big spiciness, it's kind of a medium, like a, you know, maybe pepper or a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a, a really good Bach. It's actually the first Bach I've ever had, so, uh, excuse me, I'm doing what I can with this beer, seeing it is my first Bach beer I've ever reviewed, but I'm liking it, and again, the can is cream like all the others, except for the Keller beer. Uh, you know, I coached in Los Angeles, I coached in uh, Dallas, I coached in Colorado, I coached everywhere, and I just realized how much more difficult the travel is in places like Dallas, where you have a two-hour time change. I'm going to say it's a medium mouthfeel, um, medium to high carbonation. It's a fairly good beer. If you can get this beer in your area, go ahead, give it a try. It's a decent block. Um, again, there's a goat on the front, or a bock. Um, like I said, the in my other reviews, I've done all Creamore Springs reviews tonight, and um, they all have the same smoothness and softness, and I'm telling you it's from the water. Um, the water they use is magnificent. Uh, there's nothing bad I can say about this beer. If you can find it, go ahead, give it a try. Um, the water they use, though, is awesome. Four ingredients to make a good beer. Water, malt, hops, and yeast. If you have good or really good in all four categories, you're going to make yourself a really, really good home brew. Um, anyways, there's not much more I can say about this beer. I smelt it, I've tasted it, I've told you what I thought. And leave it in your guys' hands. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Any ideas, suggestions, or comments, please leave it in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Until next time, out. Leasing.